It lies within the domain of parliament and the state legislatures to enact laws recognizing and regulating queer marriage. The constitution does not expressly recognize a fundamental right to marry. An institution cannot be elevated to the realm of a fundamental right based on the content accorded to it by law. However, several facets of the marital relationship are reflections of constitutional values, including the right to human dignity and the right to life and personal liberty. Legal recognition of non-heterosexual unions represent a step towards the marriage equality. The law cannot make an assumption about good and bad parenting based on the sexuality of individuals. Such an assumption perpetuates a stereotype based on sexuality that only heterosexuals are good parents and all other parents are bad parents, which is prohibited by Article 15. This assumption is not different from the assumption that individuals of a certain class or caste or religion are better parents. In view of the above observations, the adoption regulation is violative of Article 15 for discriminating against the queer community. On the issue of adoption, uh, we, we express our disagreement and voice our concerns in the following manner. The rights of LGBTQ persons that have been hitherto recognized by this court are the rights to gender identity, sexual orientation, the right to choose a partner, cohabit and enjoy physical and mental intimacy. In the exercise of these rights, they have full freedom from physical threat and from coercive action, and the state is bound to afford them full protection. Transgender persons in heterosexual relationships have the right to marry under existing law, including personal laws which regulate marriage. The Supreme Court of India Constitu Constitution Bench has broke down the stereotypical thinking notion of this existing patriarchal system. It has spokenly it has spoken with proud and prideness about using the terminologies of sex, gender, sexuality, talking about the acceptance terminologies of lesbian, gay, bisexual, intersexual, transgender people. This shows India is in the process of development. Knowing that the whole universe was looking at the Supreme Court of India's constitution bench verdict. But what they were all united on is they were, they were clear that LGBTQ people are citizens, they're entitled to constitutional rights. They're entitled to full constitutional rights. Again, as Akhay made the point, very, very important point. On the question <coughs> of the transgender community, there's no ambiguity. All the judges were 100% clear that transgender people have the right to get married under the existing laws, be it the Hindu Marriage Act, be it the Special Marriage Act, be it the, be it the Christian Marriage Act, be it every marriage law, transgender people have the full right to marry, as do, as do intersex people. That's what Dr. B.R. Ambedkar Sahib said. I think we still have the hopes, we still have some amount of trust in the constitution morality. And through this forum, we urge the member of parliamentarians, the prime minister of this country, and of course, every political party leaders needs to open their minds, hearts and mouth to sh make sure that we shall be supported in all its legitimized spaces. We're going to take this battle forward and we're going to say it's the responsibility now of the state government and the central government to put forward a law which recognizes the rights of all persons to marry because the judiciary has limitations, judiciary has given us a framework and now it's your role to take it forward.